inspired by the Pilgrims in 1578, the most hazardous and dangerous night of American cooking. After a tragic giblet incident at Pete Conrad's house, some thought we would never have Thanksgiving again. But now, after two successful Thanksgivings, it's Gene Kranz's turn, and he's invited family, friends, and co-workers. Cooking duties will fall solely on the strong shoulders of the crew of Apollo 13, who, having just returned from one ordeal, are looking forward to an uneventful evening in the kitchen. Also, once again, Ken Mattingly will not be joining them, as he has a runny nose, and none of us want him near the food. The big news came just a moment ago. Cooking has been going ahead of schedule, and serving time has been moved up to 7.30, almost 10 minutes ahead of schedule. Come on in, Mr. Cronkite. Why don't we go on inside and watch some more television? Don't tell me what to do. In other news, Ken is drunk again. But that's the way it is. Those are some great crackers, Kitchen. Thanks, Houston. And say, you think since we're all in the same house, we wouldn't have to call you Houston? Sorry, Jack. Gene's house, Gene's rules. Copy that. Increase oven temperature to 350 degrees. And uh, Jack, if you could go ahead and uh, give the gravy a stir, please. Roger that, Houston. Kitchen, this is Houston. Say again, please. Houston, Check. we have a problem. Continue straight for 5.2 seconds. We have a smoke alarm going off. We've got some smoke activity in here. We've got multiple coffee issues. Very gently and slowly. No, 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 that's too fast. There goes the other one. Did somebody crack the window? Uh, uh, I don't know. Jesus, Flight, their, their respiration rates are skyrocketing. Houston, we are burning something inside the oven. I can see it inside the door right now. It's definitely a poultry of some sort. It's got to be the turkey. Well, tell him to get it out of there. Get it out of there. We can't. The door is stuck. Roger that kitchen. We copy your burning. Stay cool, people. Alright, I want you to alert your support teams. Wake up anybody you need, get them down here. Sai, call your grandmother, make sure she still has that recipe for instant gravy. Gene, wake up mission control. We landed on the moon, we gotta be able to figure out how to save a turkey. Let's work the problem, people. Let's not make things worse by guessing. Hey, take a look at the thermometer here. It's not going down. 
There must still be some residual heat in the oven. Just turning it off isn't going to stop it from burning. Uh, flight? Yeah, go eat gum. Um, Gene, I recommend we shut down the pilot light. What the hell good is that going to do? Well, if that's where the heat's coming from, and, and obviously it is, we can stop it there. We can stop it there and we can save what's left of the turkey. You blow out that pilot light, you can't just relight it that easily. And you can't operate a gas oven without a functioning pilot. Gene, the turkey is burning. From my chair here, this is the last option. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Sai. Si. Capcom, let's have them blow out the pilot light. Kitchen, this is Houston. Why don't you go ahead and blow out that pilot light? Do you copy? Are you saying you want the whole smash? Shutting down the gas. Blowing out the pilot light. Did I hear you correctly? Yeah, they heard me right. Tell them that's the only way we think they can stop the burning. Uh, yeah, Jim. We think that may be the only way we can stop the burning. Did he copy that? Do you copy, Jim? Yes, Houston, I copy. We just lost Thanksgiving dinner. Got the souffle. Prepare the basic mixture by stirring one generous tablespoon of butter in a heavy saucepan. Gradually. Gradually, we don't want this thing getting away from us. Flight guidance. We're getting awfully close to the red zone here. Correction, two cups. Two cups and a pint. Kitchen, why don't you watch that thermometer reading there? We don't want you blowing the whole bird. Fred, I'll inform the living room that I'm well aware of the goddamn thermometer. Uh, roger that, Houston. I don't need to hear the obvious. I got the frappin' mercury column right in front of me. Andy, the door's open. What was that? One seven nine degrees and one nine degrees. We're hearing everything you said. Point two seconds. Confirm proper text. I'm getting it back. Sorry, Jim. At add a seasoning. It is only by a very narrow margin. That we'll be eating tonight. Doesn't that sound really pink in here? Well, Jeffrey, it's Thanksgiving and your daddy's cooking the turkey. Can I, do I get a wishbone? Well, something broke in the kitchen. Is that the door? I gotta eat some really 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 Okay, people, from this moment on, I want you to forget the cookbook. From here on out, we are improvising a new dinner. Okay, the turkey is stuck in the oven. What do we do? Do we pry it open, destroy the oven, make my wife kill me? No, sir, no, sir, no, sir. We pull the backup turkey out of the freezer, put it in the microwave, and set it to slow cook. That is the fewest question marks for undercooked poultry and Gene sleeping on the couch. I agree with Jerry. We use the microwave. No, 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 the microwave cannot cook a turkey. It probably wouldn't even fit. We nuke it on low power, do a slow cook, and wait a little longer to eat. But, we get a turkey that's cooked right. Of course, with the amount of time it's going to take. Then by the time we have Thanksgiving dinner, we may as well call it Christmas dinner. The <laughs> <laughs> juice is dribbling down your chin. No, no I'm geez, not going to sugarcoat this for you. Now, hold it down. Let's hold it down, people. While I'm not willing to sacrifice 200 years of tradition, we got to consider that oven dead. And that leaves us with the microwave. High power, fast cook is the way to go. Gene, I'm wondering what the Kenmore guy thinks about all this. We didn't design the microwave to cook a turkey. We designed it to cook leftovers. Cooking the turkey is the job of the oven. Well, unfortunately, we can't use the oven anymore now, can we? I don't care what anything was designed to do. I care about what it can do. God, I'm hungry. Who's to say this is even going to work? Probably won't. It hurts when I hear you. Gentlemen, what are your intentions? I'd like to eat tonight.
You're telling me the turkey is going to take another 45 hours? That brings us to about Saturday. Gentlemen, that's not acceptable. Look, power is everything. What do you mean? Well, we can make the microwave cook faster, but we're going to need every ounce of juice. We have to shut everything else down. Now. After the game? Now. Look, we need to give that microwave everything we've got. We need to get the rest of this house down to 12 amps. You can't run a vacuum cleaner on 12 amps, John. Honey. Honey. Now it's about the time. The more time we talk in here, the less time they have to cook in there. That's the deal? That's the deal. I want you to find every engineer who designed every switch, every circuit, every transistor, and every light bulb that's in here. Then I want you to talk to the guy in the assembly line who actually built the thing. Uh, Gene, don't you think that's a little excessive? I want you to figure out how to squeeze every amp out of this goddamn house. We've never had a Thanksgiving on Friday. We're sure as hell not going to have one on my watch. Takeout is not an option. Good, you're not dead. I think I puked on your coat. Gene, we have a situation brewing in there. It, the turkey in the microwave, it, it's a size compatibility problem. Uh, the turkey is 50 cubic centimeters, and the microwave is only rated for 47 cubic centimeters. Please tell me this isn't a government operation. It's not, Gene. It's Thanksgiving dinner. Well, I suggest you gentlemen invent a way to fit a big turkey into a small microwave. Rapidly. What's this? It's what they've got to make. This is what took you an hour? I'm 12. Well, I hope you have the procedures for it. Right here. While they may not have enough time to cook the turkey, one thing they have too much of is turkey. I'm on mark. You're gonna have about six minutes. Gentlemen, it's been a privilege. Gentlemen are all inside waiting, patiently. We're now coming up on three minutes until dinner time, standing by for any reports of acquisition. No turkey dinner has ever been cooked in under five minutes in a microwave. This is the critical moment. Will the turkey hold? Will the turkey be thoroughly cooked? Will it be succulent and juicy? If not, there will be only sound. Five minutes. We're standing by for acquisition. Copy that. Kitchen, this is Houston. Is it ready yet? Expected serving time, the time at which the turkey should have been served, has come and gone. Kitchen, this is Houston. Is it ready yet? Kitchen, this is Houston. Is it ready yet? Houston Kitchen. Bon Appetit. Kitchen, this is Houston. Bon Appetit.
Thanksgiving dinner was called a successful failure, in that we had dinner on Thanksgiving, but it wasn't that good, since we cooked it in a microwave. In the following months, it was determined that Gene's oven was... crap. Fred Hayes was going back to the kitchen for dessert, but his mission was canceled due to full stomachs. He never cooked again. Nor did Jack Swire, who left the kitchen and the astronaut corps, and was elected to Congress, but he died before he could take office. Ken Mattingly cooked that same year's Christmas dinner, having never once sneezed on the food. And as for me, those seven extraordinary hours that Thanksgiving were my last in the kitchen. I watched other men cook meals and return safely, all from the confines of the other room. I sometimes catch myself looking back at the kitchen and remembering the changes of fortune in our ordeal. I look at the kitchen and wonder, when will we be eating again? And who will cook it? Because it's not going to be me, that's for sure. And then I remember, probably next year, and probably Alan Shepard. <laughs>